Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back here in Train World. Now, as usual, we've had a whole slew of new updates since the last recording of an episode for this series. I'm not going to go through them all. They're all listed on the Steam page and on the uh, Devs Des Discord server. There are a couple that I will draw your attention to. Um, shall we leave this train? You're thinking to yourself, actually, that looks like quite an old train. That's an Atlantic, and those are old wagons. You're right, because this is a brand new service. Hang on, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't really, does it? No. Okay, shall I explain it? We'll do that by going get back to the UI. That will help us do this. Now, when I started preparing for this uh, particular episode, my reputation was over 200. And it's been slowly descending over the period that I've let the game run on for. Because I'm getting more of this. Yeah, quite big negative... Well, the maximum, I think, is minus five. Quite big negative scores for some of my uh, passenger delivery services. And the one we're looking at here is Tampa. Which, um, yeah, it used to be top. It's not top anymore, but it's still minus five, which is not good. So what I've done... Is if we go to the map here, uh, we had a service going between Seattle and Anaheim. Uh, if I get that, it. Seattle to Anaheim via Tampa. So it stopped at Tampa on one way and then stopped in Tampa on the other way. But there's also a need in Tampa for passengers to go to New Orleans. And that well, it was being s resolved by people going to Anaheim and then catching a connecting service to New Orleans. So what I've done is I've laid in a little bit of connecting tissue, a connecting track here. Oh, there's a little village there. I wonder what that does. It might pop up at some point. Anyway, I've put this little connecting track in here and a new train. It's I've been using, I use one from the inventory uh, to, to, to sort of source, well, to provide the service for that particular route. Uh, so if we, can, if we go to the inventory here, yeah, you see I've got a whole stack of old locomotives and indeed passenger wagons. So I thought rather than buying a brand new loco for this new route, I'll just make use of an existing unit for the time being until that runs out of life and then I'll put a newer locomotive and newer wagons on that. Does that make sense? I think it kind of makes sense. So yeah, we've had some of these. Uh, we've even got a very old mogul there, but I think we can start selling these actually. So what I'll do is I'll tell this to sell locomotives which are more what shot right less than two years old so if they're less than two years old they're they're kind of useless to me and that includes one of these atlantics and this very old mogul uh, so we'll sell you get 15 grand back we'll sell you get 29 grand back oh both of them in fact oh well <laughs> um we'll leave these wagons on here um actually these are yeah, these are tiny little wagons. Don't need these anymore. Let's sell them all. Actually, I could have... Mm, yeah, we'll sell the amount 30. That's what it says down there. So that's nearly half a million back from that. And these old wagons, we'll probably sell those as well, to be honest. But just in case we want to put them to use, we'll do that. Anyway, so talking of the updates to the game, there's, there's a couple of sort of neat little UI things that uh, the developers added recently. So if we go to a station here, we've got this new little icon. Actually, if I put that there, the track there, which is the terminals or platforms, and that tells you how many trains are using that particular terminal. Nice. So you can work out and just check that you've got all your terminals used evenly or equitably, and also to make sure, and this is the thing I had to do with um, I think it was Fort Worth, actually. Uh, actually, if I go to Fort Worth, I can show you what the problem I created for myself. Where's Fort, Fort Worth is up here. There we are. Yeah, so what we've got is we've got, uh, if I turn that on, yeah, I had signals there ahead of the platform itself. I was using that to sort of control in and out of the platform, primarily out of the platform. But what I discovered was, because I didn't have this, make sure the next signal is clear, the blue line, because I didn't have that set on these signals before the crossover, I had trains going past this signal into the crossover here, thinking, well, that's fine, and then stopping at this signal because there was a train at the platform still, and they just headbutted. 
So yeah, I've had to make sure that I've got this um, this signal setting, which if I no, I need to click into signals, don't I? Uh, which is that one there. This um, no stop setting. So the last signal before the platform, certainly before a crossover to the platform, I make sure is no stop, which appears to have fixed that particular problem, which actually happened as I was prepping for this episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I didn't embarrass myself by showing that to you. There may be other stations with a similar problem. Uh, we'll find those as we go through. But the other nice little thing that the dev has added to, in a very recent update, is the ability to rename towns and automatically then rename all the stations and depots which use that town name. Nice. Though I did actually have a little bit of a problem with that because I think it was this service here. I'd actually misspelt Anaheim. So that one didn't get um, didn't get renamed or replaced. So oops. So yeah, I, I'm because I'm such an egomaniac, I'm gonna rename this city as a Jaxima. Update stations and depot names and the train names. Yes, we're gonna do that. And what that means then is that this freight station is a Jacksonville Freight. That is a Jacksonville North, a Jacksonville West. Uh, get rid of those, get rid of those. And the passenger station is a Jacksonville Grand. Nice. Again, it's, it's a trivial little thing, really, but it, it makes me feel good about, about myself, really, I suppose. Anyway, well, I just noticed a contract, a new contract come up there. Oh, we've got quite a few of these. Yeah, these contracts are getting bigger and bigger. Uh, from Seattle to a Jacksima, which is a boxcar. And I've got a free boxcar train here, which can carry 440. Yep. So that was going, I've forgotten already, Seattle to a Jacksima. Uh, so we'll put this one then on that line there. So we'll just get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And you're then going from Seattle Freight there to a Jaxima Freight North there. And you're gonna conclude your journey in that. Now, because this train can carry the whole contract in one go, I can just send it straight back to the depot. If I didn't have enough wagons on the back of the train, I might have to leave it as a loop and just be able to make, just make sure that it was able to get from Seattle, sorry, sorry get from a Jaxima back to Seattle to bring in the rest of that contract requirement. So we'll put you on that route. There you go. And this one here, the hopper. Well, we've only got a capacity of 351 at the moment. And that contract was for 500 from Detroit to Seattle, which is up here going to there. That shouldn't be a problem. We've got depots near Seattle. We can do that. So that train needs to be bigger and better. Uh, so actually, if I can, can I get the game running? I can. So that train is that contractor is now en route. So this one is going from. Oh, it's, it's the same thing, but I need to edit the train to add another one of oh, these these wagons bigger. I think they are. They carry forty two. Yeah, and you don't, do you? No. Okay, so we'll take all you off. And I'll add 10 of these in one go, which gives me a capacity of 420. Uh, need a couple more. 504, that's fine. And we've got good performance still on that. That is a Mikado, which is getting an old, to be an old train now. We've got the 280 and the Santa Fe uh, available to us now for our bigger, longer, faster routes. I think that should do that. Put you on there. And that's all the contracts ready to go. Anyway, what I wanted to do was sort out this reputation problem I've got. Tampa we're, get, we're dealing with. Jacksonville. Now, Jacksonville is a bit of a problem, actually, because Jacksonville wants to send passengers to Austin and to Charlotte. And Charlotte is here. And that is a nightmare of a journey. Is it not? Yeah, through all those gradients or across the, quicker across the bay. Well, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. We do actually have a one service currently running out of jacks. Oh, it's that one there. Um, can I get the train? Can I? There it is. 
which actually has quite a long route. It's a multi-city route, which I think it was Nightwish did comment. That's not always the best solution. The best solution is often to send trains from one city to another and just that back and forth. So this one's taking quite its time doing that. There's only one service on there. It's how fast is that going? I think it's a Mikado. It can go as fast as it likes. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to clone it. I'm simply going to clone it. That's what we will do. So we're going to change this one. So you are number one of this type. Then if I clone you, uh, I need to be there, don't I? To clone that train. Yeah, uh, the wagons and the route. Yes. And you need to be... Which one is it? It was the Jacksonville. That's it. If I copy that, cancel there, and go into the bottom. Why is it not? Oh. Where's that train? Where is that new train? Oh, yeah. There you are. There's this new button here saying show all, which, because um, I think you can filter some, you can filter trains out um, by whether they're freight or passenger and the like, and that button allows you to bring back the complete list, which is good. Right, so you are actually going to be number two of that type, and we might as well put you on that route straight away. And if we go and look at that train, where are you cut? coming from. I don't want that one. I want that button there. So you're coming out of the depot. That should be all right, I think. You're going up there. Yeah, I think we've got... I think that is... I think I did double track everything here, didn't I? Ooh, which one are you? Ooh, you are... You're, the, uh, you're running a bit close together, aren't you? I'm sure they'll sort themselves out, <laughs> he said, hopefully. Right, what else do we want to look at? Uh, our reputation is getting better, which is nice. Tampa, Charlotte. Okay, so what's... Oh, that's going to want to go to... Jacksonville, Indianapolis, and San Francisco. Uh, we've got Charlotte there. And we do have... Uh, if I go to that station... And call up the train routes... Oh, we've just got the one service from to Seattle. Ah, in which case, I'm wondering, would it be worth actually sending passengers from Charlotte to Fort Worth? And there they can catch that other train going to Jacksonville. It might be, it'd be an easier way to get there, wouldn't it? Maybe. Or oh, just set up a route to Indianapolis. Yeah, again, a simple, short, local route to Indianapolis. Although Indianapolis Station is indeed quite busy, I think. Uh, oh, actually, we've got some empty platforms. Oh, okay. Wasn't really expecting that. Oh, there they are. <laughs> ah, that's interesting. So you could... Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could add a new service from Charlotte directly into... Is that Charlotte up here? It is. Uh, and you've got... Well, you've got two platforms, and I dare say just one of you is being used. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So we could set up a new route then... So let's just follow this track down. So you're going down here, and oh, you're getting connected there. And then you're coming into. Well, that'd be the freight. So this is the pass. Okay, so coming along here. Yeah, along here. Right, so which train is going where? So if we look at that, so Seattle to Charlotte. Uh, okay, let's bring that, let's click that, and I can keep you in view, because we can't move those dialogue boxes. Right, so you're going in there, so we could simply put you into that other platform down there, couldn't we? 
Yeah, that's oh, that's so easy. That's a nice solution, isn't it? Uh, do we have signals along here anywhere? We have a crossover there. Oh, that actually works reasonably well, I suppose. Uh, yeah, can I get rid of that? That route. There you go. And that. So if we put you in there, we could. Yeah, I think. Or do we want to do it afterwards? Hmm. Good question. All right. And if we take you from platform four to there. Okay, we can do that. Oops, that's as far as we can take it. I could move you to. So if you're you're coming in, aren't you, on that far track? And I want you to go out on that other track. So if I can, I do that and then to there. Oh, I can. I can just about. You're not fast, but that should be all right. And we've got, have we got any signals here? We haven't really. Okay, so if I put a signal in here, so coming into the station, oh, there is one just down the way. Oh, there's that one there. No, that's okay. Oh, we'll leave that one there, I think, and we'll have you like so. So, yeah, that means you won't pass that signal unless you can get through all these junctions here. I'm good with that. I think that that's reasonably sensible. So that was platform. Which platform was that? I'm not entirely sure. If I go to station, platform four. OK, so we need a new route. Actually, no, I don't. We need a new train to start with. Where's Charlotte? Charlotte's back up there. OK, a new train. Another passenger train. Uh, new train. Um, oh, we don't have any of these in the inventory. No, it says zero there. No, OK, so... You're quite expensive because you're powerful. I think the Mikado will do here. It's a relatively short route. I think so we won't put anything too big and and powerful on there. Uh, you carry 30 to 100 which is nice. 24 at 100. I think we'll use these cheaper wagons for the moment. Although we have got these these ones here. We could use them. Yeah. Which doesn't cost us any money particularly. Uh, and that gives me a capacity of 180 possibly add another one 216 let's try that it does mean the train only goes at 74 miles an hour so that's or sorry kilometers per hour um which is well below the mikado's capability but you know it's, it, it, it is what it is <laughs> uh charlotte's up there so from there down to indianapolis down there Right, I want you, in fact, to go to platform four. You can do that. That's good. And I'm going to assume that the other surface service is already on platform one. So we'll send you from platform two. There you go. And we want them waiting. We'll have them waiting just for a little time. Three minutes. Three minutes. At either end, that should be fine. There's no, no other train contending for that platform, so they should be all right. So let's just double check my platform assignments. Uh, I need to get the uh, oh, need to put that. Tra I need to keep forgetting to do that. Put the train on the line. That's it. And now, when we check this, this. OK, so that train is going to be arriving at some point, I think. <laughs> so, but anyway, our existing train is on on platform one, so that that's fine. Uh, OK, uh, and I need to give this one a name. We 
are in the habit occasionally of calling Indianapolis Indy. So that's what we're going to do. And where are you? Whereabouts are you, in fact? Depot 9. Where the hell's Depot 9? Indianapolis. I can give you that. Actually, if I, can I edit that? Copy that. And then put that in there. Good. So you're going to take a while to get to your first stop, I imagine. Oh, my reputation has gone up to two, uh, over 200. And best of all, we now have accumulated research points of over 300, which is good because we need that to go to the next stage in our research. And I, the reason, one of the reasons for getting reputation up high is it gives you a better research accumulation figure. Uh, so I'm currently getting 3.3 points per minute. If you remember back in the previous episodes, that was below one, which is horrific. Uh, anyway, so we are in era two, so we got that train, the, uh, the S280, the S160, so we can now afford, it'd be nice to have a new train, but we can now build iron bridges, if I accept that. Actually, is there anything uh, there I want? Uh, we could get that little old train, but no, we're not going to do that. They're, they're old, they're passe. We're in era two now, so let's uh, take that, we'll get that. And the Atlantic is obsolete, so we can no longer buy the Atlantic. Okay. We fulfilled that like, one of our contracts. That was easy, wasn't it? And we've got another one here. Right, is that train back? It's not. It's still on its way back to depot. So that was presumably that one, yeah. So your 480 capacity... Or you can do the Indianapolis to to Memphis, no trouble. So we'll just wait for that train to get into the depot and we'll be away. Uh, so San Francisco. What? Where do you want to go? All over the place. Okay, now we did have... Uh, okay, where's San Francisco? Here, there's San Francisco. We've got a route directly to Fort Worth. OK, there aren't that many people on the platform at the moment. We've got, I think, we've got a route to Indianapolis via Seattle. No, I've clicked on the train. I want the station. That's it. Fort Worth. Sorry, we've got San Francisco to Fort Worth, to Indianapolis and Seattle. So it's just Charlotte. OK, what train is that one? I move that over there get rid of that so you're a I don't know yeah you're not big are you particularly and again there's a lot of people that's the thing over time the demand for services does ramp up so this this is why you've got to keep an eye on the reputation if you see it sliding as I've seen it so we need trains need bigger and better train on there we could yeah we'll retire that uh, at Atlantic I think that was the San Francisco one to Indy uh, and Seattle. Oh, that's an old loco as well. But that's got the more modern wagons. So we'll take this one, which is the short to route, isn't it? Yeah, we'll replace you, I think. And we are going to be replacing you with... Um, can I get rid of the whole train here? I thought there was an option to... get rid of the whole train somewhere. No. Okay. We'll just get rid of all of you then. You see the Atlantic has gone from our list, so put a Mikado on there. Yeah, that's fine. One of those. And some of these new wagons. 192. We'll try that. Yep, that's certainly an improvement on what they had before, so we'll stick you on there. And where is that train at the moment? Oh, you're sat at. Is that? Oh, it's San Francisco, is it? Let's edit that line. Yeah, I'm telling it to wait for all the Fort Worth passengers to be ready. Let's change that and make it oh, just just three minutes, I think. Three minutes and 20 seconds. That's what I'll do. There you go. And you're off. You're not full yet, but, well, who knows? <laughs> Time will tell. That's doing that. 
Um, Memphis is an oh Tampa's gone oh Tampa's gone off the list awesome obviously that new little route has resolved that particular problem Memphis we've got loads of trains I think going out of Memphis and yeah, look at that at Seattle Portland now where's our station oh we've only, only two platforms oh is that all we've got here okay so we have got Detroit's Ah, how do people get to Portland then? So Detroit to Memphis. Oh, that goes to Portland. It goes to Detroit via Portland. Okay. Still got quite a few people waiting there. Um, and Portland, if I remember right, we had a, added a new service in the last episode to Louisville. So that's all right. Uh, Seattle could do with a bigger train on that perhaps again the, the maximum requirement there is 217 these trains are both 192 that's all right uh, but we're missing out on Louisville though there are apparently 213 people en route but if I, no 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 they're not that's that's the maximum number too many numbers I get confused uh, so the only people there's nobody traveling from Memphis at the moment on our any of our trains so if we go to the map Memphis is over here somewhere there you are that's right go to Portland and then on to Louisville actually what's that train like uh, if we look at Portland oh you're, you've got one of those waiting things haven't you yeah that's good and that is one of those and what do we want to go to Louisville to Louisville is 223 could we make that train bigger let's make that train just a little bit bigger I think we'll add one on there there you go see if that helps at all oh I'm back over 200 excellent Charlotte, Memphis, Austin. I'm not going to worry too much about those. As you may have noticed, we get messages coming up every now and then saying new production available. And there is. There's lots of new production available. Fort Worth, Seattle and Memphis have new productions available. Oh, we fulfilled another contract. Excellent. Lovely, lovely money. Don't do any good from the reputation, but they give me lots of money. Um, yeah, we've got... A Jackson are here. We could add what's oh Washington. Oh, we don't have that yet. Yeah, we've got the grapes and the juice. That's all sorted, I think. Again, as you see, there's no plus industry icon here, so we've got we don't have any new industries that we need to place in uh, in a Jackson. So in Memphis, though, um, we've got this era here. We have got new industry. We've got we've got flour and corn, biscuits or steel rods. Let's do biscuits, shall we? So where do we want to put our biscuits? At the moment, we're creating flour in Detroit, and so presumably biscuits require. Doesn't tell me what they require. <laughs> they require presumably they require flour. Uh, so. Up in Portland, could do, yeah. So I, I either going to be Portland, Detroit, or Louisville, or possibly Memphis. Uh, Louisville is a bit too far out. That would be a challenge. We could do that. We've got the money to do it. I think we'll put put the biscuit factory in Portland. There you go. Done. Okay, so we need flour to go to Portland. So we're going to need a freight station up here. And where should we put that? We've got lots of yeah, gradients around here, haven't we? I think this this side of the south side of the city or the east. I'm kind of tempted to go east, actually. But no, we might want to use that route for passengers to come down again 
Yeah, so we'll place it here, I think, south. That's what we will do. All right, so we need to draw some grid lines. We'll use that lovely color there. So we'll have from there. And then this is going to go to Detroit. So we could, okay, use this coming out of here. The freight train is all the way down. The freight station is all the way down there. And we probably want to come in here, don't we? I think. Where's me? Okay, so if we, we're going to cross over here, come down. Do we want a share track? Let's say no. And we'll come over here and we're going to have lots of fun with gradients around here and then come in there somewhere, I reckon. Let's have a look at uh, Detroit here. So what have we got? Oh, we've got an old train running out of power. Grapes, Honolulu to Tampa. Yeah, actually, how much? That's ooh, 440. OK, but our train is carrying 390, which isn't too far off, to be honest. Uh, so what are you like? Uh, and you're quite profitable. That's fine. OK. We're going to have to replace you though, so let's go there. We're going to replace this, edit that train. We'll get rid of all these wagons, I think. Get rid of everything. And we'll put, we've got a Mikado, which has got, oh, sorry, an Atlantic. We could put another Atlantic on there. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, it's got. 25 years, no, 11 years left of life. Okay, it will do for the moment. And it's going to be boxcar, 60, no. Sorry, that's the capacity, not the speed. Well, they both go 100, do they? Well, that's not, that's a hopper, not a boxcar. It looks, I, I, I keep getting those mixed up. Right, yeah, so it's just that. 10 of those. And that's total capacity of six, no, oh dear me. Go away, go there, and then put the locomotive back on. At the front, that's it. A capacity of 600, that is too many, I think. 480, 420, it's a very short train. That doesn't look right somehow. So it says, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, seems to be all right with that. So we'll put you on there and carry on. Anyway, we were looking at Detroit. So here's our train station, which has currently got two platforms in use. And I imagine, yeah, they're all going in that direction. So another platform, another platform, I think. We will edit that station, we'll add another terminal. So yes to that. And you will come in from over here. Mm, okay. You could, mm. It's not pretty, is it? That's the tr trouble. Okay. If we can, I connect you to there. All right. And then can we get you from? No, this, this, yeah, you're too close to that switch there, I think. That's the problem. Unless, of course, can we take you? No. Oh, you're just being deliberately awkward. Oh, we can do that. And we can, ah, right, okay, that will work. That will work. I just need to get you to go up that way. Yep, and then we'll carry on along here somewhere. Okay, uh, I will put that one in there. We'll f finish, we need to get the loop finished as well. So you're coming out of there. Right, click it, that's it. 
I don't want to go quite that tight and you'll want to go over that way. Ooh, 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 ooh this is looking slightly more awkward. Actually, can I? If I do... Yeah, the we've got that switch there, haven't we? Which is going to cause me grief. Oh. Oh, darn, darn it. Is there any way of getting over there? So if we take that track there... I can do that. I can't do that. Again, I think it's because the points are in the way. Can I do it from lower down? I can sort of do it there. Unless I rejig that junction there. Let's try that actually. much better much better indeed so we can do that and bring you back like so take you along there as double track and take you up to the end as double track good that should work very nicely indeed he said hopefully Okay, right, I'm just going to complete this track work and I'll be back with you when that job is complete.
Well, here we are. The track has been completed between Detroit and wherever this is, Portland. <laughs> I do love having a good memory. Um, I did try to put some bridges over. Let's get rid of that grid line. Did try to put some bridges over the track it was crossing over, but I could never get the bridge to work. The, the iron bridge, if we go to track here, the iron bridge does have these icons on it saying you can't electrify on iron bridges. I dare say that'd be quite dangerous, sparking and stuff. You can't put high speed rails on, elect on iron bridges and you can't do double rails. So they're no, no good to me really. I wanted double rail all the way along. Um, but you can do on brick bridges, you can do double rail and electrification or whatever, but I it couldn't get it over these tracks. There was some times where it would work if I was going sort of directly at a 90 degree angle to the existing track, but I couldn't get it to work. So I put down a couple of tunnels, which is quite expensive, but they're not that long. They seem to work okay. Anyway, let's wrap this station building thing up. We need a freight station here now near Portland. Let's build a freight station. You're a multi-freight station. You can, oh, yeah, we're, we're doing good here. So we want to spin you around like so. And you are coming in or going out. We might as well come in from this side. So if I put you, say, and turn you around. Yeah, so you come in that way and go out that way. And just the one track for the moment. Yep, that's fine. And we, oh, hang on, because you're coming in on this side, aren't you? And going out on the other side. No, we're going to do it the other way around, I think. Oh, yeah, otherwise, if we come in on this track to there, like that, when we come out, we'll have to cross over. And that's just, yeah, just bad design, isn't it? So, okay, thankfully, I've got loads of money in the bank. So we'll wipe that off and put another one in. Uh, like that, which goes uh, that way around. So you come in from the other side. Yep, that's fine. Uh, in which case, we'll, we'll put you a bit further up, closer to the town, like that. Good. And then this track here, the coming in track, that's right, you can go round here somewhere. Actually, would it work better if I try and draw a loop? No, nope. connect it to the end of that track, man. That's it, look for that's it, the correct colour pin. Uh, we'll have that. We'll keep these fairly large loops, I think. Like so. 30 miles an hour. 40. 40. That will do. And then up. Or oh, can't quite reach. <laughs> of course. Well, of course. Uh, up there like that and then there you go connected and then this one should connect straight up to there job done so you're coming in that way going round and that is all good so this is going to be Portland no Portland Freight South because I think it is south of Portland more or less, yeah. Just, just double check that the other end of this line that is connected. We did all those connections, didn't we? Yes, we definitely did. We got a, we got, we got a depot there. That's fine. So we'll put a train on here for freight. A new train. It's going to be the old Atlantic. How old is that Atlantic? Oh, that's very, uh, it should sell automatically. Did I not select it to sell? Hang on, let me just check that in the uh, inventory thing. Get rid of that new train. So the inventory here. Oh, sell old. There you are, that's it. Of more than one year. Uh, sell me for less than two years old. That's it. I think that should then sell them automatically, I think, if I say sell old, maybe. We might see that as we go forward. Anyway, let's, that new train, freight train. No Atlantics to be seen. Uh, the Mikado, 
yeah, why not? It's our cheapest train so far. We'll add one of you. And flower ooh, goes in. Is that a hopper? Yes, it is. Or which which what's the difference between those two? Oh. The open hopper doesn't do anything as yet. Okay, we don't know what we carry in that. Well that's the, that's the old hopper. Okay, we'll use you. We've got 13 of you in the uh, in the inventory. So 10 of you plus 270. Uh, we'll take one off for good measure. 243. Nice and cheap. That's good. And you can go from Detroit here. Yep. To Portland there. And why can you not get back? Because I've got the wrong platform selected, I think. So you want to be platform three. Okay, it cannot do that, apparently. So it looks like it can get in, but it can't get out. Don't suppose platform two can either, then. Oh, platform two can. All right, let's accept that for the moment, and let's have a look at Detroit station here. Oh, I know why. Because that's not connected, you silly Billy. If we connect you, yeah. Because I, I didn't want, yeah, because I, I did it like, like that. I'm sure that's too tight a curve. We'll do that. Like so. And then can we put you on there like so. We should then be able to put this new train onto platform three. Yes, we can. Sweet. Okay, because we got the other two platforms being used for something else. So that is all good. And I can set you running and we can call you the flower train from to Portland. That is Detroit, yes. Where are you coming from? You're coming out of there, that's Detroit. Lovely. Uh, yeah. Oh, I ought to have you waiting, shouldn't I, actually, for a full load. Uh, so we need to edit that route. And wait there for a full load of flour to go to Portland. It's, oh, blocked. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> you can't. There's no connection from the depot to that track. Um, you're blocked by that train, but that train should surely get out of the way at some point. Are there no signals down here? Well, he will get out of the way. Yes, he will get out of the way. That's fine. You can, you can, you can do that. Right. Do I need to just change this depot connectivity? Can I do that even? Apparently, I might be able to. Up to there. And then to there. Good. Could do with a signal there, actually, couldn't we? So let's put some signals coming out of... There, and there, there, and there. Good. And our new train. Yep, it's not showing an error anymore, which is good. Okay. How's my reputation doing? Oh, excellent. Yeah, so all the passenger connections are available. All the freight connections are sorted. More work is needed to be done, I think, on this. We can sort that. Bigger trains, faster trains, all that sort of stuff. All that jazz. And here's our new train. The Detroit to Portland flower supply for the creation of those lovely biscuits. Heading into Detroit. And hopefully there should be a lot of flour waiting. I think that is the full load, isn't it? 200. Yes, it is. So you should load up immediately and get going. Which would be nice, wouldn't it? 
And that train there is delivering... Ooh, you're, yes, you're running out of power. Another old Atlantic. We'll need to get rid of you soon. Replace you. Delivering flour to Detroit. Which this one can then pick up. Are you picking it up? Come on, buddy. You know you can do it. Why is he sat there waiting? Oh, he's not waiting for a full load of 243, is he? No, that, that won't do. Oh, what? Five, 520? Oh, he is waiting for a 243 then. Yikes, I want to be at Detroit. There we go. And you are... So that should be... Oh, it's 520. It's... Wow. Okay. So that is filling... That train is filling right up then. No, don't do that. Click that button. There you go. Oh, could do with a longer train then, I think. I'll do that once this has set off on its journey. And there we are. Okay, so we are now moving through Era 2. We're getting reasonably good reputation. Our reputation, is, as you can see, is improving. Tampa's gone off that list entirely. We've still got minus five for Charlotte and Portland. Try and work on sorting those out as we go forward. Jacksonville, well, that's gone down a bit, actually. Obviously, that second train really helped get those people moving. So that's looking all right. All our available connections are being serviced one way or another. So that's all looking very good. So I will say thank you so much for joining me today for this edition of Train World. If you've enjoyed this, it would be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs uppy button. Is that a bison? Could be. <laughs> on the a little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Train World. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.